I think what makes Eccentrics Home really relevant today is the, the use of classic uh, designs, you know, things that have a real true historic pedigree. And they're all reinterpreted so that they are unique, they're fresh, they're different, but they all have a pedigree in the past that exudes a certain charm and a certain familiarity. My design inspiration is predominantly beautiful classic antiques, but I've taken them and I've casualized them and I've given them an approachable nature. They have livability, they have a little bit of bling, they're, but they're rusticized, they don't have a high sheen. So it's a much more approachable, casual, natural lifestyle. Eccentric's home is predominantly a beautiful whitewashed oak finish. It's natural, it has very little lacquer, and it creates a patina that looks time-worn, aged. It's a really beautiful, exquisite, calm, serene finish. So I think when people recognize things, but they've been reinterpreted newly, it kind of pulls at our heartstrings as human beings, and we go, wow, I like that. I'm not sure why it's just so pretty and so elegant, but yet it's different. And what that is, it's mixing the paint, it's adding the little silver leaf, it's the antique hardware, it's all the little details that you put together on one piece that makes that piece special. And then it stands out from you know, what's in the marketplace today. You know, our marketplace is really covered up with a lot of brown sameness. And um, I wanted to create something that's quite the antithesis of that brown sameness thing.